Hey guys, this is a video of my first Brick Arms order, and man, uh, I got it from GI Brick, and uh, wow, this is just great. Um, so what I got, I got the Brick Arms minigun, um, and I got one Mystery Pack Volume 2, and then I got some separate weapons, and um, then these um, actually weapons were ordered by my friend Sean, but they actually um, he ordered it in the same um, in the same order that I did, so he just paid me back, and I I'm delivering these to him. And so just what he got quickly, he got a randomly chosen ray gun, which is better because if you choose a color, it's one dollar, but if you get one random one, it's seventy five cents, and he got orange, and I'm pretty sure orange is his favorite color. He got a cobalt plasma sword, or energy sword, or plasma blade, and then two um, space magnum pistols, or I guess P-55s, and those look really cool. Um, but now what I got? So I got the mystery pack and the minigun. So starting with the minigun, um, it's really nice. I got um, a black one with a gunmetal ammo chain, and the ammo chains consist of three U-clips, and then three of these kind of like, they're kind of double the size of a regular ammo clip. Like, if you take, I ordered a couple ammo clips. You take an ammo clip and then the minigun one. You see the minigun one's a little bigger. So I'm just going to put the U-clips on there. And I actually forgot to order separate U-clips, so I'm f I find myself sometimes taking the chain apart and um, using those clips. But, hey, um, you know, my fault. And I also forgot to order bipods and monopods. But, you know, hey, I'm going to get those later from our order, probably. So, yeah, once it's like that, that's really cool. You can check this here, this here clone. Hook it up there. And it actually, it's really nice. And um, you can, I'm going to lift it up a little bit. And actually, um, just one thing I'm going to say that's maybe not positive. Um, I <laughs> wasn't really paying attention instructions I mean I was but I put the um, barrel on the regular body the wrong way so the handle would have been back there and um, it I put it on and then it just wouldn't come off no matter what I did so I finally had to get a pair of pliers and pull it off and I think I did I, I scratched it a little bit but no nothing visible really um, but yeah um, uh, black minigun, gunmetal ammo chain. It's kind of funny because I actually ordered a, um, a titanium colored one because they were out of black, but I actually ended up getting a black one with a gunmetal ammo chain because, um, I, I did the, um, like, if, if they get this in stock, because they're out of stock of the black one, then send me one instead of the titanium one, and so that's really nice. Um, but, yeah, and then it also comes with the flash suppressor, and then one without the suppressor. So you can just pop that off, Oops. and then put that one on. And actually, I prefer the suppressor on. Makes it a little longer and more realistic. And, yeah. So, my minigun there. Um, and I really like taking the ammo chain off and clipping it onto random weapons. But, so I'm just going to take that off for now. So that's the minigun. So that's really cool. And the mystery pack. As for the mystery pack, what I got was um, a blue tack sword, or tactical sword. It's kind of sparkly blue. And that's really cool. Um, let's see what else I got. I got a um, blood splattered paintball gun. And, yeah, it, that's actually a pretty nice color because it looks like it's been hit with paintballs, but, you know, or you can use, be using a paintball gun to kill people, which you really can't do, but oh well. Um, let's see what else came in this. Um, the, um, that's it, actually. Well, no, the, um, the chrome ray gun and retro ray gun, and I got mine in chrome, which is really cool. Um, that's just really nice. The only chrome weapon I got. Then I got a kind of sparkly trans red minigun, which is really nice. 
in the mystery bag, because in every mystery bag you get a minigun. And that was just really nice, because you can see there, just there. And then you can take the analog chain off and clip it back on. And that's just really nice. And, and that also came with um, one of these um, non suppressed ones. And it's for, I actually, and then all, all the rest is just ones I ordered separately. And then I got two freebies. I got a bronze needler, needle gun. And that looks pretty cool. Kind of bronze copper color. And um, I got a trans red gun blade. And that's, you know, not my favorite weapon, but, you know, it's better than getting nothing. It's, it's going to be useful for other stuff. Um, now, just going over the stuff I got. I got a couple of ammo clips. The little ones. Um, this actually isn't a very big order, because I was just looking at stuff that I really wanted. One monopod that came in the um, Battle LMG. Um, the uh, M84 stun grenade. And gun metal. So you can focus on that. And you can use like a rubber band, I guess. And then like clip stuff on there. And then these M67s would go around it nice. And then I got two M67s there in black. Now, um, I'm gonna go over those later. Two gunmetal combat knives. Um, two silver uh, bayonets. And the guy can hold them, and that's huh, kind of why the U clips that I forgot mattered. Oh, well, it's my fault. Two gunmetal M6 rockets that would go in an RPG or a bazooka. And um, I got one gunmetal paintball marker, or paintball gun, and then one silver one. Alright, um, I got an M1 um, Gerond, or Gerond, I don't really know what it is, but in because it kind of looked cool and down. Um, I got an M1911 pistol, and that looks really cool. I probably should have ordered two, because I just think that looks really awesome for any character. Two APOC SMGs, and a lot of the packs that Sean wanted to get and split the difference, and he just decided getting these, but, um, he, the, all the ones only came with one, and I really wanted two, and I, I think the one came in the dog pack, the dark olive green pack, and, uh, so I just decided to get two separately, and he decided to get his weapons, um, and those are really nice, and APOC, APOC SMG stands for Apocalypse Submachine Gun, and so those are submachine guns, and those are really cool. I got one RPG, or Rocket Propelled Grenade, and those are really cool. And then I got one bazooka for probably for my, um, some of those, like, like, I guess these guys from, like, the Indiana Jones, but I'm, I'm in the process of making several, like, animations with brick arms. So, now, more weapons I got is pump action shotgun. Uh, I don't remember the exact name, actually. Um, two M4s. And I actually have two identical, like, space marines, or, like, regular marines that use those, but actually looks cool if you hold both of them. Uh, let's see, you want AK-47 assault rifle, and that's pretty cool. Actually not as cool as I thought it would look, but anyway, it's pretty nice. Um, now, I got an MGL, or multiple grenade launcher, and he can hold that, like that, and that's really cool. It fits really snugly into his arm. You can also hold the barrel, and he and you can actually, if you can see here, you can flip that up. Like that, and that's clear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that. So you can, you can see you can like flip that over, and then you can actually pop it out if you get your fingernail in the little clip. Maybe a little hard to pop out. And then once it's out, it looks like that, and it looks really strange. But then you can do stuff like clipping it on the minigun. And I guess the minigun can like shoot grenades or something, I don't know. Probably wouldn't even fit, but anyway, it just looks cool. 
And that, so that's the MGL on multiple grenade launcher. Now I got one HCSR, which is one of the reasons I ordered it two bipods, but or I forgot to order I was going to. But HCSR stands for High Caliber Sniper Rifle. See, so there's pretty good magazine detail on there, the scope, good scope detail, good barrel detail. Um, you know, I would want the bipods we could lay down in, actually. I don't have the monopod from the LMG, but, you know, it's just not the same. You can see if, if you have the monopod even all the way out there, it's just not, just not going to hold it steady like the bipod would. But, you know, it's cool even without anyway. So now, here's my LMG, combat LMG, which looks really cool, which is $1 with three pieces. The LMG, this cool ammo box, which fits in there very snuggly. You can wiggle a little bit and you can stick it in both sides. And then it actually also came with the monopod. Which, you know, it's only one dollar, so I thought about ordering a couple. But, you know, maybe next time around. That was really cool. And then, the MG42, which has really nice barrel detail. Then, um, it has a, an ammo drum. Really cool ammo drum and it fits in there. And it, they're actually interchangeable, but I just think they look cool how they are. So, this is actually, this is all, and then this. So this is my first um, Brick Arms GI Brick order. So, I'm definitely going to order more, because um, this is just awesome. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.